Welcome to part two of the video tutorial series demonstrating the topology optimization capability available in Workbench Mechanical. Using the optimized topology created in the first video, I'm now going to modify the model using ANSYS space claim and then validate the new design. Here's the optimized topology in Mechanical. For the design validation study, I'm going to use the remove region to create a new geometry in ANSYS space claim. To do this, I can create a new result and change the Show Optimized Region property to Removed Region, and then I'll rename the result accordingly. I reevaluate the result, and then I verify that I have the correct result selected in the Topology Result property of the Solution object. Returning to the Workbench project page to begin the validation process, I first need to create the validation system and open the model in space claim. This requires me to transfer the system downstream, update the project, and then open the model in space claim. As noted, the redesign of the model is based on the removed region from the topology optimization analysis. In space claim, I've imported the original geometry as well as the removed region facets. I unselect the original geometry so that I can work only with the removed region facets. Given that the model is symmetrical, I'm going to modify only one-third of the model. I can delete the other parts. In order to properly extract the optimized part, I need to enlarge the geometry from the removed region facets using the pull option so that it can be cut from the original part. Following this, I want to clean up the removed region facets so that I can make it as flawless as possible. The various steps I take in space claim will facilitate this goal. I'll use the shrink wrap feature to wrap the removed region facets. Then, the facets are converted to solid geometry. After that, I create three parts in a circular pattern to combine the parts. These parts are then intersected with the original geometry to create an optimized part using the Combine tool, which in space claim is shown as a component. Before I examine the results on the new part, I'll review how much mass of the original part was removed. As shown here, I've reduced the original mass by 60%. The new mass is essentially 39% of the original. When I return to Mechanical with the new model, all of the original load scoping needs to be reapplied. Let's assume that I have made those specifications and solved the model. In Mechanical, I rerun the static structural analysis and as you can see, I obtain very nearly the same total deformation results as the original geometry. Furthermore, I can see similar results for the part that was optimized. This validates the optimized design using topology optimization. That concludes this demonstration.